Hi guys, so this is Tracy from We Caught at Home and it's the beginning of the month so it's another Christmas special. That shouldn't be there. I want to show you how to do a window so that the window cuts out of the card but you still have all this nice decoration round, a bit of brickwork and um, then I'm going to show you some more bits. Now there is a lot to show you in this tutorial so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one video showing you this step, so how to do the SVG, and then I'll do another video um, just showing how to put the card together. I know it's a bit of a pain, but it's, it's a long video. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there to make sure I don't forget anything. So I've done it all from the shapes. I've used all the shapes that I can. So we're going to start off, we need a square, a rectangle, and this triangle here that's got kind of the rounded edges. So that's our starting off point. Um, we're going to duplicate the square, put that one back up there for now. And what we're going to do first is the four little, the eight set of little squares. Um, and I want to start off by sizing them at 0.75 of an inch. Oh, okay. I'm going to back up a step there. My maintain aspect ratio was off. That's the problem there. So I'm going to tick it back on and I'm going to put 0.75 there and then I want to duplicate do them both and duplicate again and then I want to put them at a fairly good distance from each other so what I'm going to do is get them all and see this one here that's distribute the objects evenly so they've got the same space in between them and this is doing it vertically. You can do it horizontally as well. At the moment, I want vertically. And I also want them the same way going through the middle. And there we have our first line. So I'm going to get that. And I'm going to duplicate it and put it right next to it. Now, to do this properly, we're going to have to group each four. Because then I can make sure, if I do them both, and do through the middle, I can make sure that they're lined up right. Okay. So we've got that, and then we want another one the same. And that will be our two windows. Then we want the rectangle and turn it round. Actually, I might just do it by eye because then we can do them the same. It doesn't matter. There we go. So that looks about right to me. And we will layer duplicate and do the other one there. So that's our windows. Can you see the main windows there? The one thing we have to do, which we will do later on, is make sure that they stay in the card. We want the windows to stay inside the card. And what I'm just going to do is bring that one a little bit closer because I feel like... There we go. Let's just pick it all up and go through the centre. There we go. So now we know that they're even. The next thing we have to do is make this piece that goes around it. That's where this comes in. 
So we know we want this. If we check the size of this, we know we want it a little bit bigger. That looks about right to me, I've got to be honest. So actually I don't need to do that just yet. This one, I want it like a wider arch. Now what size is that? The width is 420. So I know I want this width to be 420. And we're going to attach them together. Now it's best to get up close here to make sure. First thing we're going to do if we choose both the outside shapes, we don't want to touch the windows, and do it centrally through the middle because we know they're the same size. And then I know I need to bring this one down a little bit. One more. There we go. And now display, zoom to mat size, and we will hold shift and pick the square and weld. And there is the outside frame as you can see. Now we need another one of the rounded rectangles and we just want to size it right so I'm just going to I should have done what you do is before you weld the shape make another rectangle the same size. It doesn't necessarily have to be exactly the same size because we are making it smaller. It needs to be a little bit wider. Okay, there we go. But what you would do is before you weld them two shapes, do a duplicate. And what we're going to do, because we want it quite a lot smaller, now we need this up, okay? So did you see I clicked it again? If I go off, you click, sorry, if I'm off the shape, you click, wait, click, and that will come up. Now what I need to do is delete that point. And then no, the bottom line I want to make straight because I don't want that one curved. So that gives us the sh oh, sorry that gives us the straight line along the bottom. So we put it in there, and that's the outside of it. And now we're going to offset. And what we need is inward. Um, I want it quite. Big. I'm going to go maybe 24. Yeah, 24. And then what we're going to do, see we've got that. You're going to shift and hold the original rectangle and remove overlap. And then before you go to grab that, click off the shapes, grab that. And then what we're going to do, we just want a tiny little line. didn't mean to do that but there we go and I'm going to offset go down to four outward delete okay and that's all I want just that little line there and what I'm going to do is grab both shapes and put it through the center just make sure this line has to go completely over the line of the rectangle of the triangle sorry and then you click you click both subtract and divide and then we're going to move them back so you can see what I've done put them there and that's them windows
Okay, so that's the main outline of the doorway. If I show you, if you need to see it, that one, I'm just going to do it a colour just so that you can see. Let's do it dark grey. Just so you can see, that has to be a separate shape that comes away in the end. But I just want you to see that that is like a windowsill with a window in. Now this shape, we're going to offset. But this time it's outward and we want it quite... Let's do 24 again. I think that worked really well. So outward, 24 leave it as it is okay there we go and then what we're going to do again if we first of all send it to the back click off and then you click that one shift that one so we've got both of them and again we want to remove overlap and there is the shape we don't need. You can delete that. So again, I'm going to colour this just so that you can see where we are. It's a bit hard to see when you're um, just looking at it like this. So now, this one, I'm going to offset again. But this time, I'm going to do it at 32. Now pay attention to this. We're going to do it at 32 and then we're going to go back and we're going to do an inward line at 36 because then what will happen is that it will go just inside this one. Just inside this one here. Sorry that error comes up occasionally. I don't know what it is. It still works perfectly. So okay so then what we're going to do again we've got that hold shift and click and again remove the overlap it'll always be on top so you just need to go on top and remove it now what i'll do again is i'll color this so you can see what i'm doing we'll do it a bit lighter and I am going to send it to the back so you can see that this one will go over that one a little bit just to uh, put it together. It's, it's, we've got somewhere to stick it. It will only be a very small bit, but we will have somewhere to stick it. So that's where we are at the moment. The next step is to do these little brick style. I used, I used this as a brick and I used this as a brick. For me I think it looks like the outside bricks that you get so I'm quite happy with that and I've done them at an inch. Let's have a look and see if that's okay. I, yeah see I think that's okay. I, you can do them smaller if you like I've done the wrong thing there. That's meant to be the inch, the height. <laughs> no, I don't know. Do you know what? I'm going to try 0 0.75 like I did the windows. Maybe that will look a bit... Okay, so we what we want is the bricks going round And you've got to have a space in between them because that's, you know, that would happen. I grab them both, layer duplicate, and put it up there. You can come down a little bit. And then layer duplicate. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So then I'm going to grab them all and what I'm going to do so that I know it looks perfectly straight I'm just going to make sure that they all meet on the right hand side and that they are 
vertically distributed evenly. Why has that happened? Ah, them two didn't get picked up for some reason. Okay. So we'll try it again. To the right and vertically distributed even. And looking at it, I think I want it to come out a little bit more. Now, before we go any further, I want to layer duplicate, put that there, layer duplicate, put that one over here and flip it. So we've got exactly the same on the other side, but we want it to come out a little bit. down a little bit and again duplicate because they are going to be the bricks so what I want to do to make sure that they're even across there what we need to do first is group each side that's it and um, if we hold them both, we can now centralise through the middle. If I had done it without them being grouped, they'd have all collapsed down into a pile. Look, I'll show, if I show you with these ones, because they're not grouped, if I centralise through the middle, they're going to collapse into a pile in the middle. So I've grouped these ones, which means I can do that and they'll stay like that and now I know that they're even so I've got them two and now I pick this one and weld okay I'm going to color it again just so that you can see and now it's the bricks turn and what I'm going to do with that Let's just colour them the next dark down. Let's go two shades. Yeah. And then ones. Okay, and now I need to do them a little bit smaller. Not by much. Actually, what I think I might do, that needs to go back to the back. If I just, oh, I forgot they're not grouped. But I'm trying to do it all in one go so that I, there we go. So that's that one. Now we know now that that one is 96 by 414. So we can do this one straight away. At point ninety six, and it will be exactly the same size. And they fit just nicely in there. Just check with one. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, so we have the frame, the little window. We've got our bricks, and most of the outlines what we just one more thing we need to do and we need to get these like i done before when i was making a straight line you click wait let me click again and see this line here the one that goes green we want to do this like it's opening and then we need to do it again click off on this one when it's gone green open it up that makes sure that the windows stay in and then these windows will stay in anyway because what we've got to do is take that away and cut it separately I'll tell you what before we take everything away I need another square 
and I want to do it on an 8 by 8 card. So I am making the square um, 7.5 inches. But I'm going to do it so the window's standing out. But to save on postage, I'm going to put some extra folds on the end of each of the squares so that we can... Um, do it like a tunnel so so it pushes down and folds flat so for that we need to go this way to ten and a half okay so let's just I'll tell you what I haven't done that one yet so I'll save that to remind me I'll get rid of that now and we will put these all over here because what we need to do now is go to the zero mark I don't know if any of you know about the X and Y but this is where it's really handy so we've got our X and Y we need them both to say zero. That's minus, so I know I need to go across for that one. I'm using my arrows. And for the Y, I need to go down. So now it says zero, zero. I'm going to do my first line. Okay. I can see it's on 46 and I want it on 50 because I'm doing half inches. So I go along to 50. This one doesn't matter so much. Um, it's just saying that we're not right up to the zero line. You know, you can just lift it up a little bit. There we go. Change it to a dotted line. And move along to the next one. Now this is the next half inch. So it's got to be on one. So I've gone too far there. Put it on one. And change it to a dotted line. I'm reading these two over here in case you... We're not sure. Now I need one more line on that side. And I need it on the 150. So I've gone too far again. There we go, 150. Change it to a dotted line. And then I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to just... Now... I know I've included the card as well, but what we do for that is we then hold shift, click on that, and it takes it away. So now we need to layer, duplicate, make sure we've got it, and come over here. And then I know I need it on nine nine and a half and ten because it goes to ten and a half so that was at nine this should be at nine and a half and ten and that is your main card bit done and we're just gonna i'm gonna go to the bottom because i've left the bricks in the way and I'm going to group that so I know it's all together. Now I'm going to move the bricks out of the way. That is your main card. And we need... I think what we do is bring everything in so we can make sure that it all fits right onto the card. Ok, 
because I have definitely done it too big. Now we know that the square in the middle is seven and a half. We need to make sure we go down send that to the back because that's stopping me from moving everything else. Okay. I am happy with that. And now all we need to do is move out. That's a separate piece. That's a separate piece. And that is a separate piece. So for now, the main card is that. So we are going to group it. That is one piece to cut out. Now what I've done here is a separate piece that can be used as a, a windowsill. So I've done it, it's a square, a rectangle even, and I've done um, roughly an inch depth, although it does go less than that because obviously we've sized it all down after that. And then two half inch um, score lines so that you can, it's, that goes there. This bit is the top of the windowsill and this bit goes back down and sticks onto the card. So you've got it actually sticking out if you want to put a windowsill on. But now I want to show you what else we can do. So that's all your parts for the house. Now, uh, for the window even, I apologise. What I actually want to do is to do some um, bits falling down here. And I'm going to do it like mistletoe because it's for Christmas. I'm going to do it like mistletoe. Now, I'm not great at drawing, but what I've done, I've just done a couple of lines that are hanging like um, stalks would hang okay that will do and now what we're going to do we're going to grab them all and we're going to go offset down to 0 0.04 outward and delete Okay, and now we've got little stalks. And then I am going to go to the purple shapes near the bottom. And I used this one. And I made it a lot thinner. So that it's similar. It's still not quite the same, but now you want to do a few of them. Layer duplicate, there's four there now, so layer duplicate. I'll just show you how to do the first one rather than doing them all. Um, so now all you're going to do is attach them onto the stalk. at intervals. Actually, I think that might be enough. You don't want too many, do you? So you grab it all and then uh, weld. And there you go. And if you do a few of them, all different shapes and sizes, and then we can add it coming down the uh, from the top of the card down onto the window and you need quite a few of them um, if you want to do some white berries that's up to you how you want to do it you could use um, the pearl wands you can use pearls or you can do yourself some little circles cut out in white that you can add around here it's uh, entirely up to you um, but that is so far what I wanted to show you on the um, so we'll have a window card and then you decide whether you want it looking out or looking in so the base card behind it 
is where we will put a nice seam of either looking out or looking in the window. You want some acetate to put on the windows because they're going to cut out apart from this bit so they'll still be in the card. So we'll need acetate for the windows and quite a few of these. Um, if you've got a die or you've got one already made then do that. I just wanted to show you how you can make your own. And we'll cut it all out and in a couple of days I'll put the video out on how to make it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I think I covered everything. And I'll speak to you in a couple of days. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.